I knew from the outset I wanted to make a comedy game. I wanted to make a game that we took seriously when we were making it, but not a game to be taken seriously. It's very, very silly, obviously, since it's a load of toads, one of whom wears sunglasses going around, like, beating up aliens. Let's just go inside and punch whatever we see, okay? Fine. Ha! We had the chance to work with three incredible writers, none of whom had written a game before. All of whom come from TV backgrounds and animation. I was watching a lot of Twitch, and after a while I realized, if I'm gonna be this invested in video games, I should try and get paid for it somehow. So the story we kind of worked on was this idea that, you know, it's been 26 years since the last game, but the Battletoads don't know this. It becomes quickly apparent that the reality the Battletoads think they're living isn't necessarily reflecting of the real world. The last Battletoads games ended with them being intergalactic heroes. Um, so we we're trying to figure out how we could sort of reduce them down to, to nobodies. So, frogs, how you feeling? Stupid? We're not frogs. We're toads. The battle toads. We're famous superheroes. This just in. No, you're not. Now that kind of fantasy just completely erodes and the, the curtain gets pulled. They see that they are no longer these heroes. They are in this kind of fantasy world. What's a better motivation than, like, wanting to become a hero? Like, when you're already the hero and you just want to, like, keep good in the world, it's stupid. This is way more fun. The Dark Queen was our ticket back to the top! If she's not famous, then we can't be famous! And if we can't be famous, then life is meaningless! Pimple, punch me through my brain! One of the things that was exciting to me about the project was that we got to, like, kind of reinvent the battle so It's not going to be fun just to have them be very cool and punch people for, you know, the duration of the game, so... We start talking about character flaws and character weaknesses and things that made them interesting. Are you all conspiring behind my back? Seriously, like, am I being paranoid? Do I sound crazy? Am I crazy right now? No, no way. You're the leader. When I first kind of came onto the project, I was like, well, when's, when's the Vulture coming in? When are we going to get Robo Menace? And all this kind of stuff. And it's like, let's just take a step back. Like, they're awesome characters and we can have a lot of fun with them. And they're there. They are in the universe. But let's also create some new bad guys, these tokens. What do they look like? I think if you really want something to be funny, you have to mind relationships and personalities. And so the Topians, I think, are hands down like the funniest characters. Have you found the other ones? The uh, Arbaltoes, the t Totalos? All oh, the things we're looking for, the brut Brutables. Battle Bears? Battle Toads. I'm afraid they've eluded capture as well. I really like writing for the Dark Queen, actually. She's actually a character. She's got motives and she can be kind of funny. Why not? She's sort of just like, Fit into this natural role of like the level-headed one who's trying to keep them on task. Where are we? Mercury 9, an outer ring planet and home to an old cohort of mine named Jeffrey. And he's see-through? Cool! It's interesting to write a character who's smarter than all the Toads, but doesn't have any power. And I thought that was a really fun dynamic between the Toads and the Queen, is that these former enemies now sort of need one another. I know our history is complicated. I mean, you sent me spinning off into space. No hard feelings, much respect. But now that you're here, we can execute my plan to defeat the Topians together. We've told a really great story end to end with characters with depth in this stupid cartoon world. So I'm super proud of that. I'm not trying to tell a 10 hour epic story. Um, instead, I'm telling 30 minutes of incredible cartoons written and animated by incredible people. And it just adds to this feeling of your life, just playing this massive cartoon with these awesome gameplay moments. You really feel like you're going on this wild, awesome journey with Rash, Sits and Pimple and the Dark Queen.